So today's video is going to be a bit different. This is one of the places that we actually visited before we started to record everything. Now for some background info, Usine Verver was a glass factory which opened at the end of the 19th century and stayed open until mid 2010s. It used to produce mostly glass for solar panels at the end but it shut down as a lot of the production moved elsewhere. First we entered these big hallways, which you can see in these shots, and then we finally found one of the centerpieces for this factory. Here you can see the back side of the glass ovens, which is where the glass used to come out. The next couple of pieces of glass we found in the crater underneath the backside of the oven. The remarkable thing about all this glass is actually that it was all green glass, which is why the factory is called Ferver. The following shots, you can see a large mass of glass, which is basically the glass that was left from production when they shut the factory down. So this is what the top of the oven looked like and right next to it you had these pipes where the sand would then come down to be melted into glass. Next we went into the oven, which was quite stable as it was a big mass of glass. But getting on it, I did manage to get a couple of scratches. The interesting part about the glass in the oven was that there were air bubbles underneath, which caused the glass to burst. And then you could see all the green glass on the inside. So then we went to the next building, but we had to be very careful because all of our footprints could be seen as it had just snowed the other day. Before going into the building that you're now seeing, we actually went straight across where we found the following. So as you can see, there's some other machinery. The first ones, we don't know what they were made for, but in these next shots, you can see that there's actually written sand on it. So it's probably the sand which they used to produce the glass. Here you can actually see a conveyor belt, which would probably transport maybe the glass or the sand, we suppose it's the sand, up to then melt it into glass. And by following this conveyor belt, we then ended up in the building which I previously showed you. This is where our first visit ended. We did go back on a Saturday, but that didn't turn out to be the greatest idea after all.
So the last time we visited, we ran into some people and they actually told us that there was another part which included a lot of heavy machinery that was also um, on the same grounds as the glass factory. So we decided to take a look and this is what we found. As a special treat, here is where we found the face of industry, as people would call it. We then rounded off our visit in the front part of the terrain where we found some heavy machinery and went into the water tower. However, our visit was cut short as there were workers and we had to run across the terrain to make sure that we weren't caught.